Okay, now that we are all experts on what prostate glands should look like, with this being relatively normal or hyperplastic prostate glands within here, and this being cancer all the way up here, let me tell you about a guy named Gleason. I don't know who he was. I'm sorry if I'm showing him disrespect, but every time a pathologist examines a prostate and there's cancer, he has to think of Mr. Gleason. Not Jackie Gleason, but probably some guy, Dr. Gleason. The Gleason uh, developed a system for grading the prostate. So, for example, the grading is from 1 to 5. Now, if the tumor looks exactly or almost exactly like normal prostate glands, you give it a low grade, you give it a 1. If the tumor looks so terribly undifferentiated that you can't even tell its glands, then you give it a 5. Now, that's the Gleason grade, 1 through 5. There's another thing called the Gleason score, however. In the Gleason score, you add up two Gleason grades, the predominant pattern and the secondary pattern. And therefore, you could see that a Gleason grade could now be as high as a 10 or as low as a 2. And basically, this is a fancy way of telling your uh, urologist how nasty the tumor looks. It doesn't tell them how nasty the tumor infiltrates or whether it's in the liver. It just tells them how nasty it looks. And the basis of that numbers, they have their own decisions to make. So let's talk a little bit more about Gleason. Uh, this area is just about normal prostate that you see here. You could see the nuclei are oriented nicely at the base like all along here. Notice that there's an abundant amount of cytoplasm. Notice how the glands uh, cells are all lined up nicely. Notice how they're small. But here's the main thing. Notice the cells do not have nucleoli. On the other hand, if you go to the area of cancer, notice that even though these don't look terribly different from the other cells that we saw before, that many of these cells have nucleoli. There's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. Not all of them, but many of them. This is called Gleason's one because these cells here do not look terribly abnormal. Yes, they invade but they look very similar to the so-called normal prostate cells, which we see here. And this is an agonizing decision we have to make. If, for example, they looked much worse than that, then you could call them a 2 or a 3 or a 4 or a 5. But this is a Gleason's 1 prostate adenocarcinoma. Thank you very much.